Ripple vs. SEC attorney Jeremy Hogan accuses SEC of not authenticating its own employee speeches. What we can expect from this lawsuit in the upcoming period and what kind of impact on the price this is going to have. Let's try to find out in today's video. So welcome to Crypto Prodigy YouTube channel, the place where you can find out everything you want to know, everything you have to know about your favorite coin and about your favorite token. And that's right, in today's video, we're going to talk about Ripple or XRP. Why? Because although it's the rank number seven right now, it still has a lot of potential, but also there are some red flags and we'll try to discuss everything, especially uh, the question number one here is, is Ripple right now a good investment or if you're a holder, what you should do right now since the price is really low at the moment. Before we can start, I have to say I'm not a financial advisor. You should always do your own research. But first thing, thing first, first, let's see where we are with the price. You can see here the price of Ripple is $0.3681 and volume went down to 16% in the last 24 hours. What is also down is the total, is the value per coin since uh, yesterday average price was around 0.375. And so we can see a downtrend here, but it doesn't mean anything since basically everything is going down. You already understand the bear when Bitcoin starts to go down, everything is going down and there is nothing can change about that. I mean, you can find some uh, low market cap, cap coins, uh, pump and dump schemes that do not follow uh, the Bitcoin movement, but generally almost everything that is legit is following the Bitcoin right now. The most important thing here is how long this bear is going to last and what coins and tokens can survive the bear. So probably some of those we cannot see in top 100 during the next bull run uh, because that has already happened in the past and that is going to happen again. But since XRP ha basically has survived the last bear, but it's not the only reason why I think that XRP can actually survive the bear. So please stick to till the end because we want to discuss some great things together. So let's see where we are and how far we are from the old time high. As you can see here, we are basically 90 a 90 percent away from the old time high to be precise 90.46 which happened uh five years ago and that was three dollars and 84 cents per coin so uh what is bad here what is good uh, the cons here is that uh, the cons here are that uh, people are starting maybe to lose their patience i mean <laughs> long-term holding is great but some people are holding srp for more than three to four years and uh, those people are really um, can really become impatient which is completely normal so that could be uh, one uh, one drawback here on the other side uh, there is actually there is something more when you take a look at the circulating supply you can see that only 48 percent is there but of course it doesn't mean any, every, anything if the price can pump way way more what is good thing that uh, if you think that XRP can reach the all-time high again, then from this position we'll have X10, which is amazing. We're talking about a legit coin or token that can make X10. So why do you think, why I'm a little bit bullish about XRP? Although I'm not a huge fan of XRP, let's try to find out in today's video. So uh, speaking about that lawsuit uh, against SEC, you can see here that uh, uh, it seems like uh, SEC becomes out of ammo. So if they have something solid about XRP, that lawsuit will be over long time ago. So there are some great articles here on you today. We mentioned this one uh, with that attorney Jeremy Hogan accuses SEC of not authenticating its own employee speeches. And also, like I mentioned in a, a video a couple of days ago, you could see that uh, SEC uh, filed a complaint against uh, uh, XRP's Ripple's friends of the court. I mean, if they're completely confident about their case, why would they have anything against any kind of material, non-material support to Ripple? So probably, yes, it is the fact that Ripple maybe has done some things that were not completely transparent. But on the other side, it seems like Ripple does, I'm sorry, SEC doesn't have anything solid against Ripple right now. So probably you can expect some kind of settlement at the end. And that settlement will allow continue, 
will allow Ripple uh, to continue to work and develop. So speaking about that, you could see, you could saw, you could see this Colombian list Ripple. Uh, and list Ripple Labs to put land deeds on blockchain. We're talking about the real revolution. We're talking about the real usage of blockchain in the real world data. Using XRPL, Colombian leaders can make real estate transaction more equitable. Why this is important? So, <coughs> take a look at this. Colombia's government has launched a partnership with Ripple Labs, the company behind the cryptocurrency XRP, to put land titles on the blockchain part of a plan to rectify land distribution efforts so unfair they have led to decades of armed conflicts. The project built on blockchain development company Persist Technology and Ripple will permanently, that's right, permanently blah, store and authenticate property titles on XRPL, Ripple's public blockchain. This will eliminate bureaucracy and hopefully make land distribution more equal, Ripple Labs and Persist Technology told the crypt. I encourage you to read this article on the crypt co by yourself. So why this is important? We're talking about putting uh, real world data, very sensitive data and very valuable data on the blockchain that no one, no, it doesn't matter how powerful, powerful some politician or organization is, they cannot change anything on the blockchain. And this is really, really, really beautiful. So this is way more important than some PFP NFTs that can maybe, maybe not worth a lot in the future. We're talking about real life revolution here. And will that have any impact on the price? Probably not short term. Definitely not a lot short term, but for long term, this could definitely boost the price of Ripple. So when we put everything together, you can see here that the price is not really good. The good thing that supporting line is getting higher and higher. But when we put everything together, bad thing is that people start to lose their patience. Take a look at this. I have just saw this. Starting to hate. Uh, I have just seen this. Starting to hate XRP. And there, when you go to Reddit, you can see many comments like this. But the thing is that price is still holding that we're can we're talking about rank seven right now and uh, if they win the lawsuit or find a proper settlement beneficial settlement for them and also once when the bear is over then xrp can probably make extend that's why i wanted to make this story for you guys but please let me know in the comment what do you think about xrp and what we can expect long term from this very very interesting project so before we end guys please Keep in mind to invest smart.